Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're a little late to this party, but we're going to talk about the Amber Heard uh, bot situation mm -hmm. and how, you know, what is it with Schrodinger's bots? Like everybody you don't like is fake apparently it's, right it's right every instance it's always you know um if if an actress is being dogpiled or a movie isn't liked or whatever it's bots if people like a movement or, you know like the snyderverse they're bots right basically everybody who isn't on my side is a bot well it's better than being you were always automatically a nazi yeah we've moved on from nazis to bots mm -hmm. that's basically what it is and, and we're going to talk about uh, how data is often read by people to support their theories. And we have a lot of media outlets running with the uh, Amber Heard was being attacked by bots thing, but then actually uh, the founder of the site that they're using came out and said, not necessarily, that's mm -hmm. not necessarily what was going on. But of course, you know, the situation she's in right now, her PR team. That's, that's the PR team. Yeah, they're gonna do everything they can do to uh, uh, try to save face here. Let me just, you know, say, stop wasting your money, Amber. You're not, the PR team isn't gonna be able to fix this. No, go away for a couple of years and come back when this is somewhat gone down the memory hole. Do you wanna do PR, con you know, some PR control? Apologize, or, you know, I know, uh, go do some volunteer work and actually do some work and have people take pictures of it and be like, you know, but because you mean it, not because I went and spent five minutes there for a photo, but like actual volunteer work. Since you didn't give them the money, maybe you can go volunteer at the yeah, children's right. hospital. There you go. And, uh, you know, you could also denounce some of your crazy ass followers from going out and targeting YouTubers. Yeah, which we're going to talk about. Targeting people on Twitter and, and uh, making police calls and all this other shit. Oh, they're crazy just bots. shit. They're just bots too. Right, mm -hmm. Everybody's a bot. Everybody I don't like is a bot. So we're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 273,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we do talk about the Amber Heard, Johnny Depp situation, but not nearly as much as other people do. We have a very uh, kind of bird's eye view of the situation. Public opinion did sway in favor of Johnny Depp uh, after his his court victory during the trial. Right, because people actually got to see the evidence. It wasn't, the, and, and of course, her and her team wanted it so that it wasn't like publicly aired. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's a good thing they did publicly air it because everybody and their dog saw what happened. <laughs> My dog, no, dog yeah. stepped on a bee. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. But everybody had, saw what happened and they saw the evidence that could form their own opinion. And the problem is, is public opinion doesn't agree with Amber Heard. And uh, and it was out there before that allegedly she was really upset the public opinion. She was more upset about the public opinion not going her way than anything else. And so now here come these hit pieces that, you know, oh, these all these people are starting these hashtags and they're all bots. I hate to break it to you. I know a lot of normies. I, and on my Facebook feed, actually everybody on my Facebook feed is pretty much normies, and they were all talking about it, all siding with, with uh, Johnny Depp over Amber Heard. And I guarantee you, they aren't bots, they're just normal people. Yeah, I mean, this whole thing, this is this is getting ridiculous too. Like you said before, it, it feels like the new uh, call somebody a Nazi mm -hmm. thing, because it, it's everything, every thing that trends on Twitter that you don't like is bots, but then Twitter is always the go-to. And I, you know, I'm gonna talk about this more in depth, I think in a blog article later, but Twitter is the go-to for the media to decide what public opinion is, but then the, the media is also saying Twitter is completely fake. Right, well, so, I'll tell you what, I can tell you for a fact that, that uh, trending tags and stuff are easy to use. Uh, oh, companies, easy game, yeah. Hollywood uses them all the damn time. Why do you think these weird things are trending out of nowhere? You're like, why the hell is that trending? No one even cares. But it's like some new show or, t or movie or something. That's because they're paying for it to be trending. Why Why are people still looking for a Netflix Shira movie years after the show's been canceled? Because they know how to game the right. system. Right. You know, the, know the, 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 the hundred people who want it, and they're, they're a thousand alt accounts each, yeah. are on Twitter demanding it. You know, when, you know, it's not going to happen now, I don't think, because Elon Musk apparently is not going to buy Twitter. But if Twitter would ever clean up the bot problem, the fake account problem, this is all interconnected. You would actually find out what the 
public thinks without being told what to think. Right, but they can't do that because if Twitter cleaned up the problem and acknowledged the problem, their stocks would drop, like, you know, worse than they've already had because there would be a whole bunch of things purged and all these subscribers they brag about would be sliced probably in half, then easy, the, or yeah, more. Yeah, then the stockholders could sue, the um, the advertisers could sue because it'd be like... Right, hey, this is why they don't clean it up. Yeah. There's no incentive for Twitter to clean it up. And, uh, you know, Musk was probably the, the best shot that we had, and that ship is apparently going to sail. Anyway, let's talk about this. So about, it's been about, what, a week? Yeah, they're all running with this thing. Um, all these news outlets, we just picked the uh, the LA Times, they're all talking about how it was bot accounts. Um, so, you know, this is, this is interesting. They're talking about how they use this uh, bot sentinel, which does... Uh, audits, I guess, of Twitter accounts. And, you can pay and them for reviews, yes. You can pay them, but they're they're all like, oh my God, they were bots. Now, what's interesting though, this this legal team was hired in 2020 to do this review. 2020, um, but Bot Sentinel says it wasn't paid for anyone by anyone for the herd research. It did in June 20, 2022 after the mm -hmm. verdict was reached. So they hired it in 2020. Then Bot Sentinel supposedly did their own in June of 2022. And I also want to point out Bot Sentinel. A lot of their reviews and reports have a certain leaning, abusive towards Kamala Harris. Here's the recently deact deactivated and suspended accounts, newly created Twitter accounts following the Ron DeSantis account. I mean, there's clearly a bias here. Well, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna point this out. Now, do I think that uh, celebrities and politicians have fake followers? 100%. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. 100%. I think everybody does. Everybody does. Now, here's the thing, though. There were a lot of conservatives that came onto the platform when it was announced that Elon Musk was going to buy Twitter. He intended to buy Twitter mm -hmm. because they're like, well, if it's going to be fair, I'm going to join. I know we had some people that even followed us. It was like, well, I never really thought about Twitter before, but if it's actually going to be fair, mm -hmm. I might consider joining it. It's so going to be a realistic representation of people. All right, joining. right. Um, but now they're like, oh, yeah, they're just newly created accounts and they're all I mean, know, I'm fake. sure some of them are fake. I'm sure some of them are. I mean, you know, again, celebrities seem to have more followers than there are real people on Twitter. And a it's lot like of the election, there's more votes when there actually are people <laughs> registered to vote. Well, the thing is, is that uh, Twitter, though, a lot of those accounts are deprecated because people signed up for Twitter years ago. They haven't used Twitter in years. They haven't used it in years, but the accounts are still out there. They're, they're still following people from like 10 years ago. And you can kind of see like older celebrities, people that have been on the platform for years, have like millions and millions of followers. And then as you get to like current year, you're lucky if some of these people have a couple hundred thousand followers mm -hmm. because you can kind of see the fall off, I think, personally, in like real Twitter users. People don't like it. They, a lot of people no. just turned against Twitter a long time ago. But the, yeah, so obviously if there's anything, if they're against Amber Heard, I said turd because she is Amber Heard. They're against Amber Heard. It's because they're a bot. Yeah. Yeah, and there's not a whole lot of reports on here either. But um, yeah, that that's what they're running with. They're like, oh yeah, Bot Sentinel's new report, which zoomed in specifically on Twitter, found that trolls had manipulated conversations and trends while targeting and abusing women to suppress any positive oh, tweets perfect. supporting Do I think that there was concerted effort and probably some bots used for this? Yes. Do I think that was the majority of people on Twitter who were responding to Amber Heard? Hell no. no. And I also would like to see, okay, Bot Sentinel, Keeping it fair, where is your research on the people that are, where is research on the accounts that are starting hashtags you know, about defending Amber Heard? And where is your research on the people that went after uh, YouTubers and all that with the, the journalists and stuff? Where's your study on that to see how many are bots? You know, my, my takeaway from all this, though, is if Twitter is so easily manipulated, why the hell does the media... You know why? Put so much faith in Twitter. Why? You, they're probably the ones behind the hashtags to go and leverage it for, for views. Probably. Because um, they, you know, I mean, look, a lot of these outlets, they were talking about, uh, you know, outlets boosting Amber Heard, Johnny Depp posts. It was big business. You know, it was. And there were, there were media outlets that were angry that YouTubers were making money off of it, too. But it was big business for traditional media outlets, too. Well, this is what I love here. They're talking about... Um, that almost 3,300 accounts were tweeting the hashtags, blah, blah, blah. The Amber Heard is an abuser and a liar. Yeah, there was way more than that, I'm sure. Um, but then they all weren't bots. But I love this. We have observed dozens of newly created accounts spamming negative anti-Amber Heard hashtags. Bot Sentinel said in an average of a 17-page report, many accounts were applying to tweets with hashtags unrelated to the tweet they were responding to. Some accounts encouraged others to get the hashtags trending. And the trolls were successful on multiple occasions. Yeah, you know what? 
the hashtag encouraging hashtags be trending happens every day on Twitter. Mm. Like the get the Shira movie hashtag. Yeah. Oh my God. They were all telling each other. They were on other platforms encouraging each other to come over here and get it trending. That happens every day for any movement that doesn't automatically make it bots. God. So it's like anything that the media doesn't like. Last Jedi hate uh, Snyderverse fans. Um, you know, any anything that the media doesn't like is is being blamed on bots. But right. then the media puts way more uh, emphasis on Twitter. Like they're doing entire articles about Twitter, 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 Twitter. And then the what media is, is like, but there's no bots. I mean, the bots. Elon Musk was full of crap. There aren't that many bots. Exactly. Like, Which is it? It can't be both. They're like, yeah, Elon Musk is just trying to weasel his way out of buying Twitter. There aren't that many bots. I mean, that's the thing. This is like Schrodinger's Twitter. It's like, this is ridiculous. It's like either the platform is fake and gamed and shouldn't be listened to, or it's not. And you have to apply that across the board. And my takeaway in the last year, you know, and there's, you know, if this is true, and I'm sure it is to some degree, but we're going to talk about the, you know, the, the spin the from follow. LA, the LA Times, or is it what it says? LA Times? LA Times, yeah. Um, if this is true that Twitter is full of bots, then Elon Musk was right and the platform should not be listened to. You know, that's that's the thing. But the media loves Twitter because they've been able to game and manipulate Twitter themselves. And what happens, and we saw this again with YouTubers versus traditional media people, is that they... Um, they love Twitter as long as they can control it. Right. You know? uh, but they're going about the copy pasta thing. And it's like, oh, for heaven's sakes, how many movements on Twitter... You know, are, are use that that yeah. technique. I've seen it when people are going against other things that you know they're always using it. You know, sides that they use like political stuff that lean certain far left topics. They use it too. I'm like, this is ridiculous. This is so stupid. Now they're not mentioning the fact that you have people like uh, that umbrella guy and some other um, people on YouTube like Arcata Law and stuff. Some of them yeah. being lawyers um, were getting attacked by the media for covering the trial. Um, which they were allowed to do. They didn't violate anything. And apparently, according to Tug, he's posted some stuff up where he had like actual audio clips of people calling the non-emergency 911 line on him and the yeah, FBI right. because he was he was doing videos about Amber Heard. They're not mentioning that in here. Yeah, that is some legit crazy shit. Oh, I now mean, what's that's... what's her nuts? That what, a, what her little psychophant, the little what's her name, the troll Eve Barlow. Oh yeah, she yeah. was on here like doxing like Tug and other people, and they didn't do anything about that. Didn't she? Didn't she turn on Amber Heard too? I think. No, she turned... no, probably. Or I don't care. Heard got Basically, rid of her I see her name. I don't listen to anything she says because I'm like, oh, it's that troll. So. Here's what Bot Sentinel said then. Then we'll go, we'll go, uh, this update here. They according said, to this article. According to this article. It's our opinion Twitter didn't do enough to mitigate the platform manipulation, and did very little to stop the abuse and targeted harassment. Well, they don't do that for anybody else either. They don't. Um, certain groups, certain groups of people okay. get protection. So somebody put a picture of, of, of a punch, uh, punching a child in the face and saying that they wish about being our kids. And, yes. and Twitter said that that didn't violate any terms of service. Yeah, because they said just kidding. Yeah, uh -huh. just kidding. Right. Uh, so if they just put just kidding at the end, then clearly it doesn't violate anything. Yeah, when you've got people out there that are calling the police, abusing emergency services to try to get YouTubers shut down for talking about things they don't like, which one, I mean, that's a... How mental do you have to be? That is legit mental illness. I mean, for sure, that's mental illness. But I'm like, God, it's just like, I mean, it's basically Twitter is just a freaking microcosm of crazy. Well, Twitter is the, the the ground zero for a lot of these these people that really, really, really honestly legitimately need help. Well, that's the thing. And cancel. the reason we talk so much about Twitter is cancel culture you know, was basically bred on Twitter. And these are the same people that they were on Tumblr and they were quarantined on Tumblr. And then they moved over to Twitter mm -hmm. and they brought all that shit with them. But because the media was actually paying attention to Twitter, it all got intermingled. Mm -hmm. And now it's, it's like the cancel culture shit that was talked about 10 years ago has gone mainstream because it's on Twitter and the media is listening to Twitter because they love Twitter. Twitter essentially left the women to fend for themselves with little or no support from the platform. Oh, yeah, because they came right to, to Tug's aid and everybody else's aid oh, when, yeah, they, when yeah. they were doxing them, yeah. you know, and, and stuff like that. I, they were right there for that. Mm -hmm. No, they didn't, they didn't get involved in general. It had nothing to do with these women specifically. They let everybody fend for themselves and don't give you jack shit support. Uh -oh. Welcome to Twitter. I'll, I'll tell you the truth. I think at, at that point, because of the Elon Musk deal going down, I think they just didn't give a shit. I think they were just like, we're just, we're whatever doing happens, fire. It's yeah, like, whatever happens, here. happens. And they're not bringing that up. This whole thing went down during 
the you know Musk's uh, planned acquisition, and Twitter was like tossing its own employees overboard. Mm-hmm. There's lots of infighting. Yeah, they're too busy worrying about like almost yeah. one subsection of this report said. Now here's here's what's interesting. This was uh, a couple of days after the fact. Um, this is coming from the founder. So this was very cherry picked on on the LA Times. Oh, soccer. Said, yeah, Amber Heard thought she was being trolled by bots during the trial. Uh, new report says bots weren't the culprit. Now this is the founder. The founder, Bot Sentinel, said this. It does not necessarily mean a bunch of folks in a small room someplace in St. Petersburg they're working together. It could just be a group of people who are against Amber Heard and decide on another platform, switch, Discord, whatever. We're going to attack. Let's coordinate together. They're not actually bots. They could just be trolls that are trying to we coordinate. We see him do it all the time with like the she movie and different things. They go on Discord and then, or uh, Instagram or Reddit. Reddit's a big one. And they all come over and start doing it. Yeah, they said that they they refer to them as as toxic trolls, but they're not actually bots. They're mm-hmm. real people with old accounts. And yeah, we're on the receiving end of that shit. There's there are accounts out there that are literally dedicated to slapping down YouTubers, you know, and they've got multiple old accounts. And there have actually been some slip ups. I've actually seen people post basically the same thing on one account that they post on another account. Oh yeah, and like, you figure out who it is. Yeah, because you're Wolf like cows do that. Because because the thing is, is that like writing styles are like fingerprints. And I worked as an editor for years. And it's like I can tell who's writing this by the, the way that their grammar is structured. Like Nate. Like Nate. Yeah. Um, and so it makes it very easy to figure out like, OK, they said basically the same thing on this account, this account, this account. It's like this is the same person. Same um, person. Well, this is funny to me. OK, wait, you want to know where they're getting all this data from? OK, you ready for this? OK. So the bot sentinel examined more than 14,000 tweets for the four different viral hashtags. So they just picked four viral hashtags and only looked at 14,000 tweets. I can guarantee you there was more than 14,000 tweets saying that they thought Amber Heard was full of shit. Well, this that's is, very cherry picked right there from the for the research. She's not as full of shit as she was. Yeah, no, she made sure she's a little bit less full of shit. She's a little bit less full of shit. But no, they did this with the last Jedi too. They picked a very small subsection and said, well, because out of these hundred, you know, I mean, it was more than that, but like out of these hundred accounts we picked, we found you know twenty five fake ones. Therefore, twenty five percent. Right, right, of right. The that's, what, that's, that's what this is. I'm getting yeah, from this. Yeah. They examined fourteen thousand tweets that used four different viral hashtags. There was way more than four viral hashtags, and there was a hell of a lot more than fourteen thousand tweets. Okay. Yeah. And nearly a quarter of these cherry picked, um, these cherry picked tweets, of the accounts were only created in the last seven months. Oh my God! Hey, welcome to the. Sock puppet accounts. Where have you been? And the fifth of them were dedicated to spamming. Okay. There's a, we, we'll just assume the 14,000 tweets. We'll just assume that was one account per tweet, but mm. I'm sure it was the same account multiple times on some of these. But even if you go one account per tweet, that's like uh, 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 four, like 3,500 ish, maybe. Mm. That would be a quarter of it. And of those, a fifth were, ded- were, uh, were dedicated to spamming. So 700. If you're assuming that 14,000 tweets was all unique accounts. Yeah. 700 were made for spamming. 700. <laughs> so, look, I mean, this is just like, I I, I really am like, are, are you guys going to stop listening to Twitter or what? I, again, Twitter is useful when you can boot. Because that the thing is, the, the same websites will take data and be like, oh, look, there's five people asking for a sequel to this movie or asking for this actor to replace this other actor. Twitter is is just up in arms about this thing because these five people are talking about it mm-hmm. and, and they blow that out of proportion. But again, you know, you've got this shit going on. It's like, well, Twitter's bad because of the bots. It's just all the hate. It's like, which is it? Because it's the same platform. Well, what they're complaining about is the exact same thing that we see on things they like, but they, they turn a blind eye to that. Like the copy pasta. Yeah. The, you know, the troll accounts, the new accounts, sock puppet accounts that are just made in the last few months. All that happens all the time. If they were bots that were pro Amber Heard, they'd be like, oh my God. They would. Look at how Twitter supports Amber Heard. Look at all the support. They're pushing back against the trolls. And people tried. They actually did try. But the problem is, is that and it's not just bots, just the general public. There was overwhelming negativity toward uh, Amber Heard because people watched the trial and they were saw like, the evidence. they saw the evidence. They're like, she's batshit crazy. You know, right. she is. In their, um, in, in their opinion. In their opinion. So it's it's going to come to a head. And then with the, uh, you know, with Musk kind of ripping the mask off of, of Twitter and all this 
Twitter cannot be trusted. Like, no. the entire platform cannot be trusted. And the thing is, you know, Amber Heard, the, the doubling down, jumping down, the media going to doing these articles, is not doing her any favors. Right. It's just making it worse. I mean, it, the faster she lets it go, the faster it'll be over and she can do damage control and come back. But And if she's trying to do damage control, she's doing it in completely the wrong ways. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, because you're basically gaslighting at the public and telling them, you're peeing on them and telling them it's raining. It's like, they're not going to buy it. All right, so we're gonna um, we're gonna wrap this one up. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.